What could have possibly made the usually calm Naporia this mad? Well, it was a tweet. But only a mockery of tragedy could make someone this mad over a simple tweet. Especially when it's the tragedy of war. Oporia started training when he moved to Georgia at 7 years old in 2004. Sadly, 4 years later, Russia launched an attack on Georgia before he moved out to Spain at the age of 15. Many of Oporia's classmates and teammates have had deaths in their families because of the war. Because in 2008, I was living in, in, in Georgia when, when the war happened, you know, and it was a very difficult time for me, for my family, for uh, for all my friends from my country, you know, a lot of innocent people, kids were dying in that, that war. But this will provide Toporia with an advantage that we will discover later. Fast forward a couple of years, Toporia moved to Spain at 15 years old. Him and his brother decided to drop out of school to fully focus on fighting. And, and when you were 15, you moved to Spain. Why did you guys move to Spain? I, I don't know, you have to ask it. To, uh, you never asked that or, question? Why are we moving to Spain? Yes. That didn't come up? <laughs> yeah, because of the, of the job, you know, we were living in Georgia, and at you know, that time uh, in Georgia, there was a, a little bit of bad situation, you know, and my parents decided to move to Spain, and I think that's why. At first, the plan was to become Olympic champions, but after being inspired by GSP and Conor McGregor, Toporia and his brother decided to focus on the UFC. Who was your first favorite fighter? Like, who was the one that kind of drew you to the UFC and MMA? GSP. Oh, yeah? GSP, yeah. yeah man. Yeah. When I was, he was uh, the first man I was thinking, I, I want to be like him. And Anderson Silva, yeah, there was a lot of fighters, yeah. Then Karl Magra comes into the game. Even if the decision was made, Alex and Ilya Toporia didn't have an easy road ahead of them, from freezing gym to lacking equipment, but what they did have is relentless competitiveness. Super potencial. Siempre fueron diferentes a los otros, la verdad. Muy competitivos y tenían eso que tenía yo con mi hermano que eran familia y entre ellos se cuidaban por más que se matan para superarse, se cuidan como nada. Even when winning. Ilya had to earn every inch of his triumph. He had to work and pay for competitions, from being a lifeguard to a cashier. I was working uh, because I had to pay all the competitions because it, it wasn't free. One of the one was a yeah. cashier, right, at uh, Stradivarios. Stradivarios? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was. A, it's a story of of cold story. Clo yeah, cold story. Oh, okay. And I, I, yeah, I was doing a. a, a Grappling classes in, a, in another gym. I was working in in, in La Playa, como es? on the beach. Uh, on the beach, yeah. yeah. And I was working on securities on uh, on the weekends. Then came the moment of truth. He had to see how he stacks up against the Europe's best in the All Stars gym. Y el mejor gimnasio en aquel entonces en Europa era All Stars gym en en en, en Suecia, donde. Y dije, bueno, eh, me tengo que ir ahí. Me suponía unos gastos. Eh, pedí ayuda a un amigo. Él me extendió la mano. Fui a Suecia. After completing a couple of camps there, they ended up signing him, which gave him the opportunity to take his first step into the pro MMA world, which ultimately led to the UFC. Como tres o cuatro veces hice tres campamentos ahí y me firmaron. Y desde ahí me empezaron a salir oportunidades pelea. Luego me llevaron a pelear en Finlandia. Después me dieron la oportunidad de pelear por el cinturón de King Cage Warriors. Luego firmé un contrato en Brave y ya después lo hice. Although Toporia is always super confident, he did claim he was nervous for his debut. As he says, great things are always on the other side of fear. After joining the UFC, Toporia was cruising through the division. Up until his first challenge, against the then undefeated 5-0 grappler specialist Bryce Mitchell. I think Ely is good and I think it'll be a great win for me because it proves how great I am and uh, I'm just happy to be here. Yeah, with both of them being um, undefeated, 
really make this an interesting fight. Obviously, nobody wants a loss on their record. But then, the Twitter incident happened. After the Twitter exchange between Topoli and Paddy, Paddy tweeted this. And this quickly lit a fire under Topoli. <laughs> Toporia naturally was very enraged with his comments, as he has lived in Georgia during the time of war. The exchanges between Toporia and Paddy seemed to continue, with Bryce almost becoming an afterthought. Because you know, when I, saw, when I saw him last time, he got an unsanitizer bottle, bounced off his foot. Unsanitizer bottle! And fuck you in English, you get the foyer in Espanol. One final question for yeah. Bryce Mitchell in the back. Do you think it's a, it's, Illy's making a mistake focusing on Patty when he has his youth standing across him in the octagon? I don't care what he focuses on, brother. I really don't. All I know is I'm showing up to whoop ass. Dash Bryce! Refocusing on the fight, up until now, Toporia's wins came from KOs and a decision. He was gaining a reputation as a striker. People seem to overlook his grappling background, but in true superstar fashion, he wins against a grappling specialist the submission. But now the UFC was put on notice, a new challenger has appeared. With almost most fighters wanting the pressure off of them before the fight, Topolia seems to be the opposite. He invites the pressure and lives it. Very similar to Conor. But when you're in it and you're there, when you've made it to the octagon, I just, I feel free. That's why I'm saying I don't feel pressure on, on fight night. Topolia's self-confidence doesn't just show itself inside the cage, but even before entering the ring. Him and his team celebrate the win before the fight. Aporia was getting closer and closer to his long-awaited title fight, and his next opponent was the veteran Josh Emmett. Ilya Teporia, he's good. He's young, he's hungry. I know how he's thinking, going out there and finishing everybody. I was there too. I beat the best guys in the world. I beat guys in the top 10, the top five. I have to get through him before I can even think about becoming world champion. After winning against Emmett, he got his first title shot against none other than the legend of the featherweight division. Volkanovski. Topolio went as far as changing his bio to UFC champion and record to 15 and 0, and even announced the movie about how he became a UFC champion before the fight. And you updated your profile. Exactly. 15 and 0. Yeah. World champion. Manifesting it. Manifesting it. Yeah. And in true McGregor fashion, he does this during the press conference. Taking a photo with the belt. And then... Then came the fight.